this unit we've had to compare two remake and an original I've chose Hairspray. Um, the first one is 1988 which is the original and the remake is made in 2007. based on an extraordinary teenager, Tracy Turnblad, who is obsessed with the Corny Collins dance show. However, after a star on the show leaves, Corny Collins hosts audi auditions to replace her. With the help of her friend Seaweed, Tracy Turnblad achieves her dream of becoming a regular on the famous dance show. She stands up for what she believes in most of all, in interrogation, integration which causes Tracy's popularity to increase and form enemies with former Miss Teenage Hairspray pageant winner Amber Von Tussle and her mum. They become jealous of her popularity and try to ruin her campaign against segregation and stop her from winning the pageant. However, Tracy stands up for what she cares about and ends up winning all the fame. John Walters. He is an American film director, a screenwriter, an actor, a stand-up comedian, a journalist, a visual artist and an art collector. His fame rose in the early 1970s for his transgressive cult films. Hairspray is Walters' second highest racist film. He directed 16 films including Pink Flamingos, Polyester, Hairspray, Cry Baby and A Dirty Show. John Walters' movies are always set in Baltimore. He casts Mink Stoll in nearly all of his films. She's Tammy in Hairspray. Currently writing his next book, Car Sick, which is about his adventure hitchhiking from Baltimore to San Francisco in 2012. All of his films combine outrageous subject matters with a sense of humour. Many of his characters have alliterated names, for example, Tracy Turnblad, Dawn Davenport and Penny Pingleton. Hairspray was a success upon its initial theoretical release, earning a modest gross of eight million. It attracted a larger audience on home video in the early 1990s and became a cult classic. In 2002, the film was made into a Broadway musical of the same name. John Waters wrote the screenplay under the title of White Lipstick. The Corny Collins show is based on the real life the Buddy Dean show, and the film's climax is based on an event that actually happened on the show in the summer of 1963. The musical won eight Tony Awards, including Best Musical in 2003. This film currently holds 97% fresh rating and 77% audience rating. This film was nominated for six Independent Spirit Awards and the Grand Jury Prize at Sundance Film Festival. Um, the remake, this film be classed as comedy, music and romance. It was directed, choreographed and produced by Adam Shankman. It's an, he's an American film director, producer, dancer, actor and choreographer. He has been a judge on TV programme, So You Think You Can Dance, since season three. He began his professional career in musical theatre. He was a dancer in mu music videos for Paula Abdul and Janet Jackson. He has directed several feature length films including Hairspray, A Walk to Remember and Bringing Down the House and um, the 2007 Hairspray feature songs from the Broadway musical written by Mark Showman and Scott Whitman. Um, some facts about the remake. Um, Hairspray broke the record for the biggest sales opening weekend for a movie musical until Mamma Mia and High School Musical were released. Hairspray became the fourth, the fourth highest grossing musical film in the US cinema history behind musicals Grease, Chicago and Mamma Mia. The 2007 film script is based primarily on the stage musical rather than the 1988 film. The 
remake drops several characters from the 80, 1988 version. In the 1988 film and on the stage musical, Tracy get, gets arrested and goes to jail. However, in the remake, Tracy does not get sent to jail. Nikki Blonsky, who played Tracy in the remake, had no previous experience of acting, but got picked out of over 1,100 candidates. The majority of the film was shot at Toronto's Showland Studios. Determinants. Uh, the budget was two million dollars. The box office was eight to two thousand seven. No, eight million two thousand seven hundred. Oh, <laughs> um, the gross margin was seventy. Um, a trivia from this film, a scene was filmed where Tracy finds cockroaches in her hair. It was based on an urban legend about a girl whose brain is eaten by cockroaches that were living in her beehive hairdo. While it never made it into the final cut, it explains all the references to roaches in the later part of the film. Um, Opening weekend, it made fifty-seven. On the opening weekend, and only shown in seventy-nine theaters in the USA. However, in the third weekend, they made nine six 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 seven two, showing in two hundred twenty-seven theaters in the USA. the fourth highest grossing film in cinema history after the films Grace, Chicago and Mamma Mia. Hairspray was shown in 3,132 different screens in North America on its opening weekend. It took John Travolta four hours to put on a £30 fat suit and five gel-filled silicone face prosthetics to become Edna Turnblad. In the original film, it's in colour and has a running time of 1 hour and 32 minutes. The aspect ratio of the original film is 1.851. The sound mix used was ultra stereo. This was shot on a spherical cinematographic process with a film length of 2,503 metres. The remake is in colour and has a running time of 1 hour and 57 minutes. Um, the aspect ratio of the remake is 2.351. The sound mix used was Dolby Digital, SDDS and DTS. The cameras used were a Rickerman LT, Cook S4, Pantro, Zeiss Master Prime and Angeniax Optimo lenses. This was shot on a digital intermediate cinematograph process with a film length of 3,207 metres. Both hairsprays are set in the 1960s, which is when the civil rights movement was going on. In Baltimore in 1962, there was a lot of racism going around, which is the reason that the film is based in the 1960s. In the 1980s, when the film was actually written and produced, racism was a main thing and the film was produced to help stop it. However, in 2007, when the remake was produced, racism was much less tolerated, so the film was made to show how racism had changed in, in years. In the 2000s, film musicals became very popular, for example, Mamma Mia and High School Musical, which was the reason they produced a remake of the film Hairspray in 2007. This made the film sell fast and increase in viewings. The original Hairspray was first shown in 
theatres in North America on the 26th of February 1988. Between the 26th of February and 13th of March 1988, Hairspray was released in 227 theatres, which means it took just over two weeks for it to spread. It took a while for Hairspray to get released around the world because of the technology. It was not digital, which means that the reels would have had to been shipped to different countries around the world, which would have taken a lot longer than it does now. On July 20th, 2007, Hairspray debuted in 3,121 theatres in North America, the widest debate of any modern music, movie musical. In 2007, the release was very different. It didn't take long at all for the film to spread across the world. The 2007 film was firstly released in North America, however, it was also released in the UK, however, the 1988 film was not. Here's the different casts on the screen. Stars. I'm going to compare Tracy Turnblad from the 1988 original to the 2007 remake. Um, Ricky Pamela Lake was play, playing Tracy Turnblad in the original. She was born in September 21st, 1968. She is an American actress, producer and television host. Ricky began singing professionally at the age of nine in Cat cabarets and clubs. She is best known for her documentary film The Business of Being Born and her talk show which was broadcast internationally from 1993 till 2004. Ricky made her film debut as Tracy Turnblad, the leader in John Walter's 1988 Hairspray. She got paid $50,000 to start as Tracy Turnblad in Hairspray. She also starred in the 2007 remake of Hairspray, however, as a talent agent. She also starred in other Walters films, including Cry Baby, Cecile B. Demented, and Serial Mum. In November 2007, Lake cited sexual abuse as a child as a reason for her problems with obesity. Um, Nikki Blonsky played... Um, T Tracy Turnblad in the remake, and she's an American actress, singer, and dancer. She is best known for her role as Tracy Turnblad in the 2007 remake of Hairspray, and as Maggie Baker in the 2008 television movie Queen Sized. She is also known for her starring role in the ABC Family original series Huge. On two, 22nd of June 2008, she sang the American National Anthem in the pre-race ceremony at the 2008 Toyota Save Mark 350 that took place at Infineon Race Fair. Blonsky has earned a cosmetology license and as of December 2011 was working as a hairstylist in her hometown of Great Neck, New York. In September 2012, NBC announced that Nikki would appear in episodes of its Broadway drama series, Smash. Um, Devan played Edna Turnblad in the original. Um, he was born Harris Glenn Milstead and was an American actor, singer, and drag queen. He usually performed female roles in cinematic and theatrical appearances. People described him as the drag queen of the century. He played Edna Turnblad in the original Hairspray. Devine died three weeks after Hairspray was released nationwide on March the 7th, 1988. He died in his sleep of an enlarged heart at the age of 42. He starred in all of John Walters' early films, including Mondo Trasho, Pink Flamingos, Female Trouble, and Multiple Maniacs. In the remake, John Travolta starred as Edna Turnblad in Hairspray. Um, he
he first came to fame um, as Vinnie Bar Barbarino on the television series Welcome Back, Cotter. He languished in light dramas and television movies in the 1980s, but started a comeback in 1989 with Look Who's Talking. He quit school at the age of 16 and moved to New York and worked regularly in summer stock and on tele television commercials. An opening in the New York production of Grace gave him his first Broadway role at age 18. He is Oprah Winfrey's favourite movie star. In the original, Michael St. Gerard um, played Link Larkin. He is an American actor that first found work in Japanese commercials and off-Broadway shows. His first movie was the teen movie Senior Week, which was in 1987. He is known mostly for starring in Hairspray as Link. He appeared in the TV programme 90210 as an acting teacher in its second season. He got to play Elvis Presley twice in films Heart of Dixie. Um, he got so much attention um, on his Elvis imitation that the producers of a new TV series looking to recatch Elvis' early years hired him straight away. Um, Zac Efron played Link Larkin in the remake and he is an American actor and singer. He appeared in guest roles on several television series including Firefly, ER and The Guardian. However, he began acting professionally in the early 2000s. Mostly known as a teen idol after his leading role in Disney Channel's original movie, High School Musical, playing Troy Bolton. He also took lead roles in WB series Summerland and in the 2007 remake of Hairspray. Zack has starred in the film Seventeen Again, Me and Austin Wells, Charlie St. Cloud, New Year's Eve and The Lucky One. Efron will star in two comedies, counties and are we officially dated in the um, upcoming future? Um, Hairspray was set in the 1960s when Baltimore was facing a lot of racism and a lot of segregation issues. The main issue in Hairspray is segregation, which is evidenced by the way the school dance is separated into two dance floors, one for white people and one for black people. Although in America, there was one day a month called Negro Day, which was featured on the Corny Collins show. It showed that white people were very racist and could not be shown on the same TV programme as black people. These issues are very important and Hairspray reveals what racism was like years ago. However, although Hairspray is mainly about white people being racist, it also shows how black people are racist towards white people as well. These issues are shown both in the 1988 film and in the 2007 as we are trying to show people today how racism was years ago and let people know how big and important this issue is. Another issue that was faced in Hairspray was people that are overweight not being allowed to do things. It shows Tracy, an overweight teenager, trying to chase her dream but getting stopped throughout by people making fun of her. However, she does not stop trying, although she looks different. She tries to show everyone that it does not matter how you look, you can still do exactly what you want to do. The original and the remake of Hairspray are very similar and have not got many differences. However, at the end of the films, there is a slight difference as in the 1988 original, the protests are not planned. A fight breaks out which causes the protest and Tracy gets sent to jail. However, in the remake, the protest is planned with everyone and Tracy does not get caught and goes into hiding until she sneaks onto the Corny Collins show. The 2007 remake, remakes show that racism is not allowed anymore and the people want to stop it. Another difference is that in the original, one of the main scenes is where there is a hidden bomb However, in the remake, they have cut that scene out and do not show it. Um, the 1988...
original and the 2007 remake were both produced and distributed by New Line Cinema, which is one of the major American film studios. The original was produced by Rachel Talale. She is an American film director, film producer, TV director and TV producer. She produced the original Hairspray and Quiet Baby, which are two of John Waters' films. She has not directed a feature film since Tank Girls in 1995. The remake was produced by Adam Shankman. Before he produced Hairspray, he was known for his dancing and script writing. However, once he had produced Hairspray, he stated that Hairspray was the first piece of work he was honestly proud of. His most recent work involved him directing Rock of Ages. Um, I feel that the remake got the racism and segregation message across a lot clearer as it, was, as it is more modern and I feel that it has more humour in it. Another reason that this film became popular is because of Zac Efron, who played Link. At this time, girls fantasised about him as he was in High School Musical, so by knowing that he was in this film, it made the girls want to watch it, which helped get the racism issues over to young girls. I feel that the remake tries to make the film for wider audiences, such as families together, as they have not got mu as much racism in the remake. I think that people would be able to relate to the characters in the remake more than the original because they all seem like more of real people and make the film seem real. Overall, I feel as though the 2007 Hairspray is a better film and gets the message across clearer. Um, the first film, the original, got rated 6.7 out of 10. Um, however, the remake got rated 6.8 out of 10, which isn't a massive difference.